hello champs welcome to your tutorial so in this video I'm, I'm going to show you guys on how to design a church flyer using coral draw so this church flyer I made it so very very simple in the sense that it looks professional so you won't have to use many images many tags and many other special effects in this flyer all you need to do is just to create this flyer using this simple design techniques so now first these are the logo I mean this is the logo I'm going to use in the design and these are the rogb values so that is the color i'm going to apply in the design and also this is also the background so i'm going to leave a link down in the description so go to the description click on the link then download the background so you can use this background in your design so now the first step i'm going to take right here is to change my page size to a4 i'll be using a4 for the design so i would advise you to follow the steps so you won't make you won't make any mistake when designing your flyer so i've changed my piece size to a4 so i need to change this to pixel so this can be visible very well and the next step i'm going to take right here is just to double click on the rectangle tool to bring out the shape just like this then i'm going to right click take off the outline so you must not leave an outline um at the border of your design so you must remove it at all time so now it is time for me to bring in the color so it's time for me to apply these color values. So I need to create a fonte field that is a gradient color on this shape. So I need to click on the interactive field tool. When you go to this side, then click on red here, just like this. But as you can see, it brings out black color, but I am not using black color. So I need to change it. So I need to go to this side and click on order. Then after that, then as you can see, it brings out this um, dialog box. And I'm going to change this to RGB. I'm going to change it from CMYK to RGB since we are not printing our design. So now it's time for me to apply. The R is 19 and the G is 15 while the B is 20. So now this is the value for the black. As you can see, it's a little bit, it's, it's black, but it has a little touch of purple. So for the whites, this is how I'm going to apply. So I'm going to change it to RGB, then the values are 153, 0, then 204. So this is the value I'm going to use. So I'm going to increase this like this, increase this a little bit. So now as you can see, this is a good gradient color and I'm, I'm done with the color. So I can now delete this just like this. So now the next step I'm going to take right here is to clip this background into the shape. So now I have to, as I said earlier, there's a link for you to download this background in the description. Go check it out. So now I need to clip this picture into the background. So I need to move this with my right click. Then as I've moved it with my right click, as you can see, if it has shown a focal point, that is this focal point shape, then you can now let go of your right click. Then to bring out this box, then you can now click on power clip inside just like this then the picture will be power clipped into the shape so now to edit content instead of just clicking on right clicking on it then click on edit content the simple shortcut for it is just to click on control hold down your control key then click on the shape to edit the content now i need to rotate this picture just like this then i need to increase it by holding shift So I think this is okay like this. Then the next step I'm going to take right here is to give it a transparency effect. By clicking on the interactive transparency tool, then click on uniform. Then I'm going to give it um, a transparency value of 60, just like this. Then I'm going to click on finish editing objects. So now this is how our background looks like. So I'm done with the background. So the background might not look really okay, just like this. It might not look attractive but trust me the background is perfect for our design so the next step i'm going to take right here is to write out the name of the church so the name of the church you want to design the flyer for so i'm going to write it like this let me zoom in a little bit the redeemed christian 
son to begin Christian Church of God. So this is the name of the church I'm creating the design for. Then I'm going to bring this down like this. So this is how I want it. And I, I need to change the fonts. So I'll be using a font called Agency. Agency FB. So here's the font. So now I'm going to take this to the shape. I mean to the page just like this. And zoom it to the page. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to give it white. So now I need to increase the line spacing of this text by increasing this like this. I click on the shape tool. So I'm using the shape tool to increase the line spacing just like this. Then I'm going to drop it. So I'm going to click on the B to bold it so to make it very visible. So I'm going to bring this logo right here. So I'm going to reduce it just like this. And I'm going to bring it up to this side. So then I'm going to align both the logo and the text. Then press the letter E to make it arrange horizontally. Then I'm going to move this closer a little bit. Go to zoom in just like this. Then hold shift, select the text, then press the letter E just like this. Then press Ctrl G to group it. Then after that, I'm going to zoom everything back to page. Then hold shift, then I'm going to click on the background. I'm now, then I'm going to select the letter C to make it align vertically. So as you can see, I'm done with the name of the church. So I can now bring this down a little bit. Then after that, I need to bring in um, a text called present. That is the redeemed Christian Church of God. Then the redeemed Christian Church of God present. Present. Then I'm using the same font, agency FB. So I'm going to bring it to this side. I'm going to give it white color. Then I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Then I'm going to increase the line spacing as I did to the logo, the name of the church, just like this. Then I'm going to put it. The whole shape then select the C to uh, centralize it just like this. I'm going to bring it downward. Then I'm going to zoom everything back to page. So now for this step, um this is okay for this step. So now the next step I'm going to take right here is to write out the theme of the program. The theme of the program. So now first I'm going to click on the text and then type team. Just like this. So I'm going to give it a font called add one add one script itc edwardian script itc so i'm going to give it white color then give it an outline of white also so i'm going to bring it to this side i'm going to remove the outline then after that i'm going to reduce the font just like this and this is okay just like this then after that i'm going to write out the theme of the program the main theme of the program which is um rise rise and be ill sorry rise and be healed so this is the theme of the program so i'll be working with a font called Star Jedi Special. So Star Jedi Special. So Star Jedi Special Edition. So now for this font, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. So go to the description, click on the link, then download this font so you can make use of it in your design. So I'm going to give it white color. But as you can see, this rise. No, it's supposed to be R I S E, but this, according to the font, the um, customization of the font, the I is in H, so I need to customize it back. So I'm going to press Ctrl K to break the text apart, then press Ctrl K also to break this word apart. So after that, I'm going to click on this H, then change the font to area black, area black, just like this. 
so it will now look normal just like this then i'm going to adjust it like this then this then i'm going to press ctrl k to break this apart then delete this then so the next step you know i've written out the um the font i mean the theme of the program I've written out the theme of the program so the next step is to customize it so now first i'm going to work on this rice before going to this big so first i'm going to highlight this and increase it just like this then i'm going to click on this letter s so i'm going to give it a shadow by clicking on the interactive drop shadow too so then i'm going to come to the presets right here then choose the flat bottom right just like this then to bring out something like this so i'm going to reduce the opacity to 32 then i'm going to drop it then bring it to the front of page just like this then click on the drop shadow tool again then you can now edit it bring it up just like this so i'm going to change the color to something gray just like this form of this so i think this is okay so i'm going to adjust this just like this then drop it then click on this eye then click on the interactive trans i mean the interactive drop shadow tool and click on copy field properties i mean the copy shadow properties then copy this shadow properties then click on it i mean and right click on it then go to order then bring it to the front of the page you can now adjust it, move it closer to the S, then adjust the transparency. I mean the shadow effect, just like this. Zoom it a little bit. So I think this is okay. Same thing applicable to the R. Copy the shadow effect just like this then bring it to the side then bring it to the front of page or the front of layer anyone wants and you can now make it centralized together with the text so i think this is okay so now click on the drop shadow to then adjust this effect Take it to the back a little bit. Then I think this is okay. For this S, take it to the back a little bit. Then I think this is okay. For the text, we well, can now bring the S closer to the E, just like this. And the I, sorry, and the I closer to the S, and the R closer to the I, just like this. Then after that, I need to make some customization on top of this eye to make it look okay. So now first, I'm going to use my ruler, my vertical ruler and my horizontal ruler. So I'm going to zoom it a little bit. Because the shape I want to create, I don't want it to pass this eye. So I'm going to bring it to this side, then bring it, bring it down one, then duplicate it like this. And I'm going to click on the angle to then draw a rectangle so i'm going to zoom in a little bit like this so as to check if the rectangle doesn't pass the line so i'm going to drag it like this so i think this is okay so i'm going to check the other side then drag it back So this is okay. Then I'm going to give the shape yellow color. Then right click to take off the outline. So after that, I need to place this side upward. So I'm going to bring in this vertical ruler to the middle, so as to make so so that the selection I can make will be at the center of the shape. So I'm going to click on the shape too. Then click on Ctrl Q to convert it to curve. 
then I'm going to double click on this right here at the center then it has created a node then I'm going to click on my upper arrow to take it up just like this I think this is ok then I'm going to press shift F4 to zoom it back to page so now the customization is ok so I cannot delete the lines so as you can see this is one function of the ruler this is what you can use the ruler for in coil draw so there are many uses but this is one of them so now i'm going to increase sorry i'm going to choose on the two then increase it this one i'm going to align it then increase it like this and take it up then for this i'm going to apply the same effect i applied to this so this um text at the bottom also then press ctrl key to break the text apart so now i can now apply the effects So now after that, you know, I'm done with the um, theme of the program. Well, it still needs some customization after the um, details has been inputted. So now, first, the major thing of the, the major um, work of this design is based on this theme of the program. So I've done the theme of the program, and the next step is to impute the design. I mean, the details. That is the location, the time of the program. Um, the date of the program and everything about the program so about that I have written out some I have written out the details right here so I'm just going to bring this to this I'm going to explain how I made some of these effects and some of this design so I'm going to bring this upward a little bit just like this, then press shift F for the zoom back the page. I'm going to reduce this just like this. So I'm going to press hold this, and then press this, then press the letter L to make it centralized. I mean, move to the left, to align to the left. So everything now is aligned to the left. So now for this, um, this is the time of the program. The date of the program, the location of the church, um, the phone number, and this is just Jesus is Lord. So now, so now you might be wondering on how I created this um, shape. That is where I wrote this time. So this is how I created it. So I just click on the rectangle tool, um, then I draw a rectangle, then I click on the shape tool to make a curve edge like this. Then I click on the ellipse tool draw a circle then bring it towards the side you can now reduce the circle if you want you can make it of any size you want so i give it outline and um, maybe let me see blue let me see blue so and then i click on it then put the select the both the text then click on trim just like this so it has trimmed the um it has trimmed the shape so this is how it will look like so you can now input your icon, that is the time icon, into the shape right here. So that is how I created the shape. So now the next step is um, this icon you can get it online. This is um, for the dates and this for the location, this for the time. You can get it online. So for this color, how I created the color. So for this line, so I just drew a line. So who is wondering on how I give it to colors. So I just drew a line. And this then I increase the outline 
equal to four points. Then I convert the line to object by pressing Ctrl Shift Q. As you can see, that is convert outline to object. Ctrl Shift Q. Then after that, you can now create. And now click on your um, interactive field tool. Then click on the shape. Then drag it like this. Then give this side yellow. Then give the other side orange. And you can now drag it like this to make it look good. Then for this side that looks transparent, I just applied the transparency effects to it. I just click on the transparency tool. Then I drag it like this. So now. As you can see, this is how it looks like. So now I think so that is that for the details of the design. So now I need to input a a call to action arrow that will indicate these are the um, details just to customize it, not for anything. So I'm just going to click on I just click on the basic shapes right here, then click on this arrow to bring out this. So I'm going to repeat it. Then I'm going to click on the interactive view too. And I'm going to drag it like this. So I'm going to give this orange and I'm going to give this yellow. So I'm going to drag this like this. Then I'm going to remove the outline. So I'm going to duplicate it just like this. Then hold control to make it on the same shape. I mean on the same line. Then press control G to group it. And press letter free to centralize it. Then I can now reduce this. Then zoom in, then take it to this side. Then O shift, then select the details, then press the task C to um, arrange it vertically. Then you can now reduce this a little bit. Then take it up, zoom on it, and reduce this a little bit. Then press shift F to zoom everything back to page. So now this is where you impute your time, your date, your location of your church, the number, then you can just put Jesus is Lord for the text. So now the next step is to bring in the picture of your pastor. So this is um, the next step I'm going to take right here. So I have a picture here with me, so which I, I used in the customization of the flyer. So I'm going to press the cafe to centralize it. So now this is the picture of the, I just used it as a picture, so I downloaded the picture online, it's not, that is, maybe it's a pastor or nothing. So now, so this is the picture, so I'm just going to reduce this like this, then I'm going to move it to the right a little bit, then press Ctrl, sorry, then press Ctrl X to cut. Then you can now edit the background, I mean the power clip, then press Ctrl V to paste. After that, then you can now click on the interactive transparency tool, then drag it like this to make the down part transparent, just like this. Just like this, then click on finish editing object. As you can see, this is how it looks like. Then you need to write the name of the pastor. Which is Matthew. We'll come to later. Matthew IODG John. Then Ctrl A, then press Ctrl C. Then Ctrl E to centralize it. Then I'm going to give it a font that is the agency agency FB. So this is the font I'm going to use. Then I'm going to bring it to this side and give it white color just like this then I'm going to bold it and I'm going to bring it downward a little bit so now then I'm going to zoom everything back to page so now as you can see I'm done with the design let me delete this I'm done with the design if you have any questions to ask me kindly you put them in the comment section so um for you to create a design the background i've leave a link and for the fonts i've left the link down in the description so click on the links so you can download the background and the fonts so if you make a flyer you can kindly um 
post this flyer or send it directly to me on Facebook so as to see how you made the flyer or maybe you are doing well or, or maybe the other way so try to design this yourself so thanks for watching see you in the next video